think knows you better? Your friends and family or your HR department? Did you know that your employer may have more data about you than anyone else you know? Did you know that a company has access to all your communications? Even that time you complained to your work bestie about your boss or coworker? At least if you did it on a company email, phone, or their chat system. Did you know that if you have a work-issued computer, your employer could gather data about when you're working, how often you're typing, what social media sites you visit, and even your webcam if it's in the employee contract? Maybe you think this doesn't apply to you because you don't work in an office or most of your work isn't done on a computer or phone. But a plethora of tracking technologies are present in warehouses, for drivers, throughout stores, and really in all stages of the business process. And it's not just data about what you're doing at work. Did you know that the HR department of your company is usually required to keep extremely sensitive information about your personal life? Depending on what country you live in, HR may be required to capture data about your age, marital status, ethnicity, religion, criminal history, education, children, identification documents, immigration status, financial status, banking information, and so much more. If you work for an employer with self-insured medical benefits, for example, they can access claims data like diagnoses about not just you, but any of your enrolled family members. And if you have a worker's comp injury, well, those employers get a breakdown including all of the intimate details of the treatment you receive. The truth is many forms of data gathering and tracking are completely legal and sometimes even mandated. Often it's used for regulatory reasons, and it can even be used purposely to benefit you. Data gathering can be used to help ensure fairness and diversity, provide equal access, and provide a more personalized and improved work experience. But sometimes it's just a little scary to realize how much sensitive people data there is stored on us. But not all tracking is bad. And as a member of the workforce, it may not even be possible for you to avoid it. For me personally, I love how data can be used to improve the work experience for everyone involved. But I will admit it is scary to think about how much data is out there and scarier yet to think about what it might look like if measures aren't put in place to keep that data private, secure, and used only for the appropriate purposes. This is where standards and regulations can help at least in some small way, to help keep data that is meant to be private that way. Currently, we are seeing great progress in the number and depth of data privacy regulations around the world, at least compared to prior decades. And I'm really excited that the International Organization for Standardization, or ISO, is developing a new standard, ISO 30439, HRM Data Privacy. It will provide guidance on how to manage HR data privacy throughout the entire workforce lifecycle. And it's really exciting because with a robust data protection framework, it can be used to help mitigate the risk of cyber attacks, data breaches, and help safeguard sensitive individual information to limit identity theft, fraud, and discrimination. Regulations and standards are definitely not perfect but they can help create a balance between the benefits of a data-driven approach and respecting individuals' rights. When people know that their data is handled responsibly and ethically, they're more likely to share that information. And then organizations will be able to use that data to create valuable inner insights to benefit and protect individuals. As the world becomes increasingly digital, data privacy standards will become even more important. And by ensuring that personal information is collected, used, and shared in a responsible way, data privacy standards can help to protect individuals' rights and promote innovation. If you're interested in furthering data protection, it's always good to start by knowing what data is gathered about you, by whom, and for what purposes. And then to stay up to date with advancing regulations and standards. If you're interested in the work I'm doing with ISO to create the HR data privacy standard, please feel free to reach out to me or leave a comment. I would love to hear what you think.